BPO industry is undergoing a tremendous transformation, as we all know. And this has been on will for, for a little long time now. It's not something which is happening today. So as it started with a cost arbitrage story, so slowly the, the BPO industry is now grown into a different outcome-based model. So today, if you look at whatever work was done purely based on labor arbitrage and the domain expertise around language primarily, and now slowly we have moved into a model wherein customers are saying we no longer want to just save cost. We also want differentiation in our bottom line. We also want improvement in our net promoter score. And we want you to pay you based on the outcome that you deliver to some of these. Mm -hmm. right? So this is a whole new shift to the BPM because it's no more about a single seat or a single call or a single transaction based pricing. It's a, a pricing that will significantly deliver to the bottom line of the end customer. Now this shift. Is, is very significant in nature because this changes the complete paradigm of the way you actually operate and deliver those customer experiences. And that's where you have reliance on some of the technological advancements uh, to enable to deliver this, right? And, and this is the big shift that we are seeing. Coupled with this, if you look at, is, is, is the expectation change from the customer perspective. Uh, and that's all happening because of all the seismic shifts that are happening in the technology domain per se which is around social, mobility, analytics, and cloud. And also the uh, you know, demographics, which is playing a very, very important role. And these all put together is putting us so much of differentiation now in the way the BPOs are operating. BPOs are leveraging technology in a big way in order to ride this new wave all this we have. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, can we do more? Definitely we can do more. Because now if you look at the solutions that BPO are providing in order to deliver the new experience is around the specific verticals, is around utilizing the analytics, it's around uh, you know, using the domain knowledge and then delivering this. So that transformation has already started. It, it varies you know, depending on the organization at what level they are. But I think there is a long way to go in order to kind of embrace this completely and deliver it. The other side is on the platforms. I think BPO is beginning to start looking at uh, the cloud-based technology, for example, because that gives them a clear edge in terms of deployment, in terms of uh, reduce OPEX, in terms of time to go market, and, and you know, uh, deliver the end customer experience. You know, our focus essentially is around customer experience, right? We help, whether it's a BPO provider or the end customer, we help them to deliver experience, superior customer experience. So we focus on things like the customer touch points, which is your omni-channel experience, we rely heavily on our technology to deliver that. So it becomes very, very seamless for a consumer to interact with their service provider whenever they want, whichever way they want, and what, whatever touch points they want to use for. So that's one big transformation that we are seeing and that we are focusing on. The other thing that we help <coughs> some of our customers is around managing their workforce, managing it more efficiently, managing their KPIs, managing their performances, and delivering them superior benefits in terms of productivity there. And the third piece that we are uh, focusing now, which I talked about earlier, is around automating their some of the back office processes, which can actually become the front office in order to deliver the customer service, as well as make significant productivity improvement so that this can help their bottom line when they deliver an outcome-based model to their end customer. So Aspect is a 40-year-old startup, as I would say. Uh, we have been in India for a long time. and India is a very, very strategic location for us. In fact, India is, is the largest location for us outside of United States. We have an excess of about 350 people, and we have all these uh, you know, uh, departments of our company present in India, starting with sales and marketing, R&D, uh, tech, global tech support, as well as our back office. So India is increasingly very, very uh, you know, important for us, and we are making a number of investments looking at doing that, including cloud options, including deployments of data centers into India. The help that we provide to our customers is essentially around technology solution. And in turn, the, how their employees use it in, in line with all the changes which are happening around SMAC, and that's our role in the uh, whole game. It, it's, it's, it's getting better and better. However, the sp pace at which we possibly could do can always be definitely better because there are still sort of fundamental challenges that the BPO industry is facing because of which India at times loses the edge to other countries. Uh, and I think those are need to be addressed today, which, which has not been addressed in a big way, to, uh, to be honest. Uh, what can we do better? Of course, I think if we can provide single window clearance, if we can provide some flexibility in terms of the labor laws, uh, flexibility in terms of the telecom infrastructure per se, I think BPO can definitely benefit a lot. 
and they can then ride the wave of uh, you know india has advantage still because if you look at the other model which is shifting on bpo side is is uh, you know more from offshoring to nearshoring and that's not going to be uh, very good from india perspective while the same indian companies are becoming global and you know they are delivering those services but from an indian population standpoint uh, i think that's going to be a slight a threat and i think it's important to address that in the current budget from our perspective <coughs> i think there is a lot of emphasis on the a uh, customer services and which enables us to help the companies to deliver those services and i think uh, all the norms that are being talked about today uh, whether in the banking industry or insurance or, or telecom are working towards betterment for customer services and that helps us as well uh, because we help the end customers uh, in in getting those services it's a, it's a big debate to to look at but i always believe that Uh, whenever you have looked at a particular you know uh, small group or a or a separate specialized group into a vertical by itself it starts growing its importance and uh, given that this industry is very large and it not just uh, you know large from a revenue standpoint but it's large it's a, it's a one of the biggest employer and india being a largest country number 2 in the population i think it this this sector brings a lot of value to us so it definitely makes sense to give more attention whether it's by giving it a separate status and then doing it so be it but i think this definitely deserve a important uh, you know attention right now